for my spec, I went with Void. I chose the Spectral Blades Night Stalker, as this will pair nicely with some of the weakening that will be in this build. Gambler's Dodge, so that you can refresh your smoke. I tra use Trapper's Ambush, and I will show I prefer the Quick Fall um, to the Dodge. Um, it gives some nice mobility into this build. Snare Bomb, that weaken effect with the Quick Fall is going to be important for some of the fragments we're using. Scatter Grenade, really anything that you can just slay with. And Stylus Executioner being one of the big ones here as well. Um, as you'll see, you will be constantly invisible as you'll be constantly debuffing and killing those debuffed enemies. My fragments in order of importance to the build, Echo of Starvation, picking up a Void Breach or Orb of Power grants Devour. This will make you extremely difficult to kill. Um, Echo of Harvest, defeating weakened targets, creates an Orb of Power and a Void Breach. So just piling on uh, the ability to generate Orbs and Void Breaches. Uh, finisher Final Blows create a burst of damage that causes nearby combatants to become volatile, and defeating volatile targets creates a void breach. So again, Echo of Cessation, just piling on more and more ways to generate those breaches. Um, and finally, defeating targets with your grenades grants volatile rounds to your void weapons. Echo of Instability will really pair with that destabilizing rounds and detonation provided by Triton's Vice. For mods, I went with Void Siphon, obviously to generate as much orbs as possible. I also went with Stasis, uh, because I am going to be showing how it pairs with Winter's Bite. Herod Sea is also a great option, as it can roll with Shoot to Loot, um, and that will really help you initiate picking up orbs, starting your Devour, um, and being able to enter a engagement with Devour already propped will be really helpful for your survival. For arms, I went with Impact Induction, um, just trying to create more uh, grenades for more ad clear. Uh, firepower will be generating orbs on the grenade kills, which will be great with all of the aspects that we're using. Um, Lucian Blades, three times, uh, really helps with uh, blocking and survivability. Um, and dealing damage with their range attacks. I mean, it, 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 you can just, just sit behind that shield for a while and not take very much damage. Also, if you wanted to, you could try this build with Heart Shadow, as that would be a pretty interesting additional invisibility option. Um, for boots, I went with pretty much anything that would help, help me heal, just trying to stay alive and um, Powerful attraction. Picking up your orbs of power by using your class ability will be great. Um, Bomber for more uh, grenade usage and Reaper for more um, orbs. You'll notice that I went with 100% resilience because what we're going for here is to survive. You will be generating way more health than you'll know what to do with, so your recovery kind of becomes moot at that point. For seasonal artifact anything you want to use really in the first columns is fine i like anti-barrier auto rifle obviously because it's the one option that you have also why i was suggesting using herod c with shoot to loot unstoppable glaive gives you a lot of other options you could of course run um, overload scout if you were trying to do something that was overload unstoppable authorized void mods will help you put more in into the breach. Uh, defeating void debuff targets creates a void breach. So again, more void breaches just everywhere. Protective breach. Picking up that void breach that you're generating from all of your sources creates an overshield further contributing to your survivability. And finally, supernova. Picking up a void breach causes your next source of void damage to create a large weakening pulse. That AOE will help with all of the instability and massive explosive damage we're already getting into this build, and the weakening buff will also help with generating our orbs and 
Illinois breaches.